Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 004 underscore DIABM where you save it. You can also download this file on the website or use your own file. If you don't have access to exercise file, sit down and watch the video. Now go to the quick access toolbar and click the save as button. This will bring the save drawing as dialog box. Save the file as 00 underscore 005 underscore DIABM and click the save button. Now go to the home tab, layer panel and click the this down arrow. Make the 2D wall layer as the current layer. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the rectangle command. At the specify first point prompt, type 0, 0 on your keyboard and press enter. At the specify other corner point prompt, type 23231,24,26,0, press enter. Go to the navigation bar and click the down arrow. In the window that appears, select the zoom object. Select the rectangle and press enter on your keyboard. Whenever, when you use this zoom, AutoGuard zoom the object that to, the object you select to the extent of the drawing. Click the the down arrow again and select the zoom window. Now click into the drawing area and greet a window. AutoGuard zoom to the window that you greet. Click the down arrow and select zoom extent. AutoGuard zoom to the extent of the drawing. You can also use your mouse wheel to zoom out by rolling the mouse wheel backward and zoom in by rolling the mouse wheel forward. You can hold down the mouse wheel to pan your drawing around. Go to the navigation bar and click the zoom extent button. You roll your, roll your mouse wheel backward to zoom out. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. At a specified starting point prompt, type 16068, comma, 24260. Press enter. Go to the status bar and click the auto mode. Now move the mouse cursor to the right. Type 3962. Press enter. Move your mouse cursor down and type 762. Press enter. Move to the right. Type 762. Press enter. Move down and type. 3200 press enter move to the right and type 1981 press enter move down and type 7620 press enter move to the left and type 3200 Press enter. Move down and type 3658. Press enter. Press enter to end the line command. Now select this rectangle. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the offset command. At the specified offset distance prompt, type 3000 on your keyboard. Press enter and click out to offset the rectangle press escape now select this rectangle and hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command for the offset distance type 150 press enter zoom in into this area select this line offset it down offset this line inside select this line offset it down offset this line inside Offset this line down. Offset this to the left. Offset this up. Offset this to the left. 
press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. At the specify first point prompt, use the endpoint object snap. If your object snap is not on, click the or snap button on the status bar and click this arrow. Make sure that the endpoint midpoint center intersection and perpendicular object snap are checked. Move into the drawing area and click. Now start the line command at the endpoint of this line. Move down and type 8077. Press enter. Press enter to end the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the offset command. Type 150 for the offset distance and press enter. Select this line, offset it to the right. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the fillet command. At the select first object prompt, type R on your keyboard and press enter for the radius option, and type 0 on your keyboard and press enter. Type M, press enter for multiple option. Now zoom in into this area, fillet this line to this line, this line to this line this line to this line this line to this line hold down your middle mouse button to pan the drawing and roll the mouse wheel backward to zoom out fillet this line to this line 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 press escape to get out of the fillet command now go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command for the offset distance type 1219 press enter select this line and offset to the left select this line move to the left and type 1829 press enter select this line move to the left and type 4572 Press enter. Select this line, move to the left and type 6401. Press enter. Press enter to get out of the command. Zoom in to see the lines that you just offset. Now go to the home tab, draw panel, and start the line command. At a specified start point prompt, use the zoom in into this area and click to the end point of this line and move the mouse cursor and snap to the end point of this line. Now move your mouse cursor down and type 1831. Press enter. Move the mouse cursor into this direction and hover the mouse into the end point of this line and this line. Now move the mouse. When you see the intersection or temporal intersection, click. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. For the offset distance, type 150, press enter. Select, select this line, offset it down. Select this line, offset it down. Select this line and offset it down. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the fillet command. Autocad still remember the previous radius that we used. Type M on your keyboard and press enter for the multiple option. Fill this line to this line, this line to this line, this line to this line, this line to this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, draw panel and select the line command. Have a, zoom in into this area, have the mouse cursor into this area, move up slowly, and when you see the intersection object snap, click. Now move the mouse cursor up and type 1374. Press enter, move the mouse cursor and type 1829. Press enter, move the mouse cursor. Hover the mouse into this area and move slowly, click, press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. Type 150 for the offset distance, press enter, 
select this line and this line offset this line to this line press escape go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command type m on your keyboard and press enter fillet this line to this line 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 press escape to get out of the command now go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command at the select object prompt or select all prompt press enter zoom in into this area and delete this trim this line this line press escape to get out of the command go to the quick access toolbar and click the save button now go to the home tab modify panel and select the line command at the specify start point prompt use the mouse cursor and snap into this line now move to the cursor to the to the left and type 762 press enter move the mouse cursor up and type 762 press enter move the mouse cursor to the left and type 2438 press enter move the mouse cursor up and type 760 762 press enter press enter to end the line command go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command for the offset distance type 150 and press enter on your keyboard select this line offset it up select this line offset to the left select this line offset up select this line and offset to the right press escape to get out of the command select the offset command again for the offset distance type 29 21 29 press enter select this line and offset it to the left select this line move the mouse cursor and type 1831 press enter press escape to get out of the command now go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command select this line and this line go to the home tab modify panel select the offset command type 150 millimeter on your keyboard press enter select this line and offset it to the right press escape go to the home tab draw panel and start the line command at the specify first point prompt hover the mouse cursor into this position and move the mouse snap into this intersection now move the mouse cursor and snap zooming into this area snap into this intersection and click press escape to get out of the command press enter to repeat the line command again Avoid the mouse cursor into this area and move click use the endpoint object snap and snap into this line press escape go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command for the offset distance type 150 millimeter on your keyboard and press enter offset this line inside and offset this line down press escape to get out of the command go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command Autocast still remember the previous videos. Type M on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line and this line. This line. This line. This line. This line. This. Fillet this to this. This line to this line. 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 Press enter to end the fillet command go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command for the offset distance type 150 millimeter and press enter select this line and offset it to the left press escape to get out of the command now go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command at the offset distance type 4882 press enter select this line and offset it up press escape to get out of the command zoom in into this area 
Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the fillet command. Type M on your keyboard, press enter. Fillet this line to this line, this line to this line, this line to this line, this line to this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and click the down arrow. Select the joint command. Select this line and this line. Press enter to join the two lines. Select this line and hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab and click the down arrow. Select brick at a point. Add the select object from zoom in into this area and click zoom in closely to this area and click this line. Now move the mouse cursor and snap to this end point. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At the specify offset distance prompt, type 1253, press enter. Select this line and offset it into this area. Select this line, move up and type 1251. Press enter. Select this line, move into this direction and type 2134, 2134 millimeter. Press enter. Press escape to get out of the command. Now, select this line, this line, this line. Hold down your shift key, click this grip, this grip. This grip, this grip, the grip become hot grip. When the grip is red, it's hot grip. Now click on this grip and move the mouse cursor, snap to the end point of this line. Press escape to deselect the line. Go to the home tab, draw panel, and select the line command. At specify first point prompt, use the intersection object snap and snap to this point. Move the mouse cursor and snap to this point. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the offset command. For the offset distance type 150 millimeter, press enter. Select this line, offset it inside. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the fillet command. Type M on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line, fillet it to this line, select this line, fillet it to this line. This line, and this line, this line, and this line. Press escape. Select this line this line and hit delete on your keyboard go to the navigation bar and click the zoom extent button go to the quick access tool bar and click the save button we'll continue this tutorial in the next video if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to your friend if you have any comments or you want a specific tutorial please leave a comment below if you want to follow along on this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel please click the subscribe button Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.